is a series of videos that I call He's Scared of Snowshoes. Don't ask why. So what I'm going to try to, to show you is how to find the key of a song and then how to find the chords of a song and uh, so that you can play music. Especially if you're a beginner, um, the nice thing about a guitar is that it only takes two or three chords to be able to play a song. And uh, when you get a guitar, that's what you want to do. You want to play a song, but you got to find those chords sometimes. And, uh, you know, you gotta got to figure them out. So I'm going to show you some tricks on how you can do that. Um, so let's start right in uh, with a song. I'm going to pick something that's fa fairly easy. Uh, probably only about, it's only three chords in this song. It's called... Um, it's called When Will I Be Loved? You can hear it in the background. It's sung by Linda Rodstad. Be loved. Well, listen to it. Get it into your head. Down. I've been around. When will I be loved? I've been cheated, I've been mistreated, when will I, I've been loved? So get that song into your head, try to, try to do it at the same pitch as the singer, because after you can check your chords with, with what they're doing and see if there's a good match. And um, sometimes what I like to do is whistle at songs, so I've been cheated. Because then I don't have to remember the words, and uh, I can work with uh, just the uh, just the melody. You have to have to realize that what makes a song is the fact that there's chords, which is the harmony, and there's melody, which is everything that fill, fills in between the uh, the chords. So that uh, the harmony is uh, like when they're singing in the background. Ooh, ah, Ooh, ah. Uh, those are the chords, and in between, there's going to be melody. There's going to be notes that fill in, you know, the gap. Yeah, more or less uh, what uh, what I'm talking about. So let's see. Let's try to find some notes that that uh, follow that that melody, and eventually we're going to find a position. We're going to find what going to be called home, which is going to be the key of the song, and that's going to be the place where we want to stop and uh, sort of uh, express the, the uh, I'm not sure if you want to call it the emotion of the song, but express express the uh, express the song at that point, <laughs> something like that. Oh, let's see. Uh, so here's a, here's a note that fits in there. Hi, here's a couple of uh, violinist jokes. Apparently there is a little bit of an enmity between uh, violinists and violaists. <laughs> What's the difference between a violin and a viola? There is no difference. The violin just looks smaller because the violinist's head is so much bigger. What's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? A fiddle is fun to listen to. Why are viola jokes so short? So violinists 
can understand them. How do you tell the difference between a violinist and a dog? The dog knows when to stop scratching. How many second violinists does it take to change a light bulb? None. They can't get up that high. Ha <laughs> ha!